Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to JDCast today. Um, a little bit of a different scenery here. I'm actually in my dad's office, um, but uh, he has an amazing setup, not gonna lie. Um, but he, um, I am actually going to be doing a little bit of a different video here today. I don't really do this much with college. I don't do much with college in general, but because of the March Madness Elite 8, the second, the um, NCAA, uh, UNC and uh, St. Peter's are playing in about an hour, and I am pumped. I'm probably going to be posting this video soon, to, like probably when the game starts. So you guys might be just watching the games, but I'm going to be my top three favorite NCAA uh, basketball players. And also, um, just talking about a little bit of the games. So uh, first off, I'm going to be telling you guys in no specific order, uh, no particular order, um, what my three favorites are. Um, so I, reasoning, I don't really watch a lot of them, so I, I like, the first one I'm going to say, I've loved, he's probably my favorite NCAA player, of, like, all time, like, that, like, for the last four years, because this is, I think is a senior, um, Big Timmy, Timmy for Gonzaga, um, I forget his first name, but, um, Big Timmy for Gonzaga, he is one of my favorite, um, NCAA players, um, from the last couple years, and he's been in the um, tournament every single year that I can remember he's even played, because he's a Gonzaga player, and Gonzaga players are always in the tournament. <clears throat> Sadly, they got knocked out uh, a couple, uh, by St. Peter's, I believe. And I'm really excited to see that game t later tonight. And then the next one is actually a player from UNC, which are playing against the Peacocks, uh, which is RJ Davis. He is another one of my favorite players. He is just, he has some fire. He's, he's more of like, it's because he's just more of an assisting point guard. And I really like him for that reason. And he's just, he's really, he actually had his career high in the March Madness tournament last week, I believe. And it was pretty, really fun to watch him. And he's just a really like just he's he's just a good player and all just a good um all-around player and then my last guy that i'm going to talk about is for kentucky his name's ty ty washington um he's just he's more of an under under the radar player and i believe he'll probably get drafted and in next year i believe like this, he'll play college next year and then get drafted and um we're actually about four hours Four and a half hours from the Kentucky Stadium. So we actually might be going to a game next season and see him because our good friends live up there. And we might go, their favorite team is Kentucky, of course, because they live in Kentucky. Oh. Um, <laughs> but um, <clears throat> of course they do. But um, it's going to be a good time, I think, if we do go. I might um, stream it. I mean, not stream it. Uh, just show you guys like a video, a vlog. But, um, yeah, I really enjoyed the March Madness tournament so far, Elite Eight. I'm probably going to be doing a next video after we find out who's in the Final Four, which I'm really excited about. And uh, that's going to be it for this one, Go. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.